I'd leave there about 11, 12 o'clock at night. Yeah. You had to, yeah, you had to pace yourself because you knew the next day you had to be back. You know, uh, yeah, that's what we did. And your mission was to find your son. A mission captured by photographer Gary Susan. I was uh, shooting for all the grieving families who wanted to know and understand what was going on during the recovery. It's the biggest honor of my life that the uh, firefighters entrusted me to, to do that. On December 11th, three months to the day after Lee Ielpe last spoke to his son, he received the news he had been both dreading and hoping for. I got a phone call at 11.30. I knew immediately because it was a good friend of mine, his deputy chief, and uh, well, uh, he said, Lee, I said, yeah, Paul. He said, Lee, uh, we got your son. Um, I said, okay, we'll be right in. We walked down the road into the site. Uh, it was about 40 feet below grade. Uh, my son was in a Stokes basket, which is a, a stretcher type basket with a flag over it. We found Joe in October. But you never found John? Not yet. No, he'll be identified. Don't know when. Connie, there's a lot of sorrow. Uh, a day doesn't go by that uh, you don't know, cry. The, these things are killing me, these interviews. Uh, I thought they'd get easier, but man, they get harder. But uh, no, it, it, there's no such word as closure. Uh, there's no such word as you get over it. You don't. Pain never goes away. Mingled with the pain, there are some living, breathing reminders of John Vigiano's sons, the five children left behind. When I look at those boys, Joey, the oldest one, he's his father, spitting image. Jimmy, the middle boy, he's got his father's personality. He's the little devil in him. The baby, we haven't figured him out yet. You just know he's got a temper. So that would be part of both of them. Uh, I look at my little girls, Nicolette, she's her father. I mean, the face is the same. And the baby's got his personality. So, yeah, we, God gave us something. He gave us these kids. These are just some of the memories John Vigiano will cherish forever. I got to play catch with my kids. You know, 60 years old, to play catch with your sons. Some fathers don't, they don't take advantage of that now. Mm. I got to do it that day. Yeah, I miss that. John and Lee will always miss their sons. They say there is no such thing as closure. The pain will never go away. I know my son is in better hands now, but I would rather have him in mine. New York's firefighters are still saying farewell to their fallen brothers. Today, one day short of a year after September 11th, they held a funeral for Ladder 42's Peter Bielfield. We'll be right back.